America have arrested the most wanted fugitive in the 1994 Rwandan genocide. Fulgence Kaishema has been on the run for more than 20 years. He is accused of organizing the killing of nearly 2,000 Tutsis seeking shelter at a Catholic church. Catherine Soy is in Nairobi. Catherine, what can you tell us about his arrest and how authorities found him decades after the genocide? Well, this man was arrested uh, on Wednesday uh, by police in South Africa. He is expected to stand, um, he's expected uh, to, uh, to go um, to the court uh, in, South, uh, in uh, Cape, Cape Town, uh, basically. And what he has been uh, accused of is uh, helping and you know, organizing the, a, a massacre in um, in Rwanda, and that killed uh, about 2,000 uh, people in a church. So basically, what happened is he and others went to this church, uh, bought fuel, and burned down uh, the church and brought down uh, the church buildings. And inside that church, uh, there were all these people, children, uh, elderly. Uh, men and you know and women too and they were just trying to find the way and a lot of uh, people during uh, the genocide went uh, to churches to seek uh, safety now one of the people who were uh, in that who was in that church was um, a, a parish, par parishioner um, and you know a priest who was in charge of that particular uh, parish and he was also involved in that that uh, massacre, he is currently in jail. Catherine, what's going to happen to him now? What's going to happen now is that he's going to be taken to court um, in uh, mm. South, in Cape Town. Uh, that's uh, going to be um, on Friday, and you know there has been there have been a lot of. Um, there have been a lot of um, legal mechanisms when it comes uh, to justice, when it comes to this, um, this, uh, I mean, this genocide. We have, we. All right, Catherine Soy reporting from Nairobi. Thank you very much. Let's take a closer look at how the Rwanda genocide unfolded. Ethnic tensions ignited in April of 1994 after a plane carrying the Rwandan president was shot down. He was from the ethnic Hutu majority. The minority Tutsi population and moderate Hutus then became a target of Hutu militias. More than 800,000 people were killed and 6 million displaced in just 100 days. Three months later, the Rwandan Patriotic Front, a mainly Tutsi rebel group based in Uganda, took power. And many of the Hutu militias fled to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Let's bring in Tembisa Fakude. He's a researcher and director at the Afrasid think tank. He joins us from Johannesburg. How do you think they found Fulgence? Well, it was not an easy uh, process, but they've been following him for the past 20 years. And this is the coordination between the United Nations and South African police. And, um, you know, unfortunately, it's going to open old wounds, uh, this. But also, it, it, it shows the consistency, particularly of the Paul Kagame's government, in terms of trying to round, out, round up all of the uh, perpetrators of this genocide. And uh, he was one of the most uh, wanted um, fugitive who is accused of this heinous crime. And hopefully it's going to bring closure to many uh, Rwandese who went through this very difficult uh, period in 1994. What does it say that he was hiding in South Africa? I mean, are there any lessons to be learned from that? Yeah, he was hiding in plain sight. Um, but, you know, interestingly, is that most uh, Rwandese, particularly Tutsis, the, the, the Barundis, uh, they could easily... Uh, you know, um, assimilate in South African in society because they look the same. Mm. Uh, but there's a lot, of course, to learn uh, from this, the weaker borders in South Africa. Uh, but uh, again, South Africa is hosting a number of uh, refugees from various countries. And South Africa was also the main negotiator of the peace between the Houthis and the Tutsis in 1994. So uh, many of the um, refugees, particularly from the 
from the DRC fled to South Africa. And it's, it's quite a difficult one, especially if someone decides to assume a normal, uh, simple identity. It's quite difficult to identify them. As I've said earlier on, the Burundi, Burundis and, 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 and South Africans have got very similar features. Catherine Sawyer was just telling us that he's going to be taken to court. He's going to be tried. Where? He's going to be tried in uh, in one small town in, in Cape Town called Pal. That's where he was arrested. And I think there's going to be the um, procedures will, will, will start off extraditing him back to either The Hague or uh, Rwanda. We don't know yet, but that's where he's going to be appearing uh, in court. But the proceeding of uh, trying to get justice uh, won't happen in South Africa. It's going to be between the two countries, uh, depending on uh, what the arrangement is going to be. All right. Thank you so much, Tembisa Fakude, for joining us today. Any more ahead on this news hour, including heavy.